way the game was. Obviously, you've had professional experience and you played against Gotham just a couple weeks ago now. What was different about this game, just playing against another NWSL uh, competition? And, and how did you feel that, that kind of, the, the team in the back line kind of handled that? Yeah, I think um, Casey is a really good opponent. Um, and I think every game we just try to... Every game we just try to take steps forward. That's our goal and just keep the progression going. So I think comparing today's game to last game, I think we did take steps in the right direction. And I think, you know, got another clean sheet, which is good, and two quality goals. Um, so I think we just keep taking steps in the right direction and keep building on, on what we're doing in training. Can you talk a little bit about the partnership that you had with Megan for the match? Yeah, we um, put an emphasis on you know, looking at each other and communicating and solving problems early as they happen and just playing together. I think it's important. Our connection affects, you know, the rest of the back line and then we see the whole field and can direct the lines in front of us. So I think if me and Meg are on the same page, then we can just carry that throughout the rest of the team. Um, so, yeah, we talk about that. We talk about always looking for each other and making sure that we're on the same page. We'll go from Luis in the front to Luis in the back. <laughs> Hi, Emily. Hi. Um, you guys are staying very compact defensively throughout the whole 90 minutes. Um, are you Seb and you guys doing a lot of pressing drills uh, throughout your um, your training grounds? Yeah, definitely. We work on the press a lot. Um, you know, we want to make it hard for the other team, of course. So we set that first press, and if a team can get out of that press, then you know we work back and stay compact and make them go around us and just make it difficult for them to get to our goal. Go back to Austin. How is this? This NWSL experience so far been for you comparatively to your other previous pro experiences. What what is the biggest difference that you've noticed just from these these two preseason games? Yeah, I think um, it's said a lot, but the NWSL is a really competitive league. So I think you know that's been true the last two games. Two really good opponents, and um, I don't know. I think there's a lot of differences, and the NWSL is just a different league with the transition and the speed of play. I think it's it's tough to try to you know work up to that speed, but um, yeah, just trying to do the best I can. How much of that previous experience has kind of prepared you for this kind of speed of play? Yeah, I think um, I learned a lot when I was in Sweden, and I think um, learned from a lot of really experienced players, and just getting a feel for that speed of play and to you know think quick and move quick and all those things I think has helped me now. Um, Ali, thanks for joining us. Just uh, overall thoughts on the game today for you? Um, I think just all around, every single person that was on the field did their job, knew what to do, and we just kind of had fun with it. So we executed well. I think we still have so much to grow and just really excited what we have prepared for the season. Let's go around the horn and start with Austin. Ali, just in terms of your performance, you come in and with one of your first touches, basically, you, you score. Um, just for, for a forward's confidence, you know, even though it's preseason, how, how important is that to just to get on the score sheet? Um, very important. I think something I've just, like, learned, I was talking about with Julie yesterday, is just, like, you, like, learn as a forward, like, you just need to take the opportunities that come to you. So I think I really just had to focus just to pass the ball in the back of the net. And Summer did an amazing job winning the ball in the transition. So just, like, to make sure I controlled my first touch and, like, my first few touches in the game were solid and, like, clean was really just able to help me carry on throughout the game. Luce? Can you talk a little bit about um, your press and the thought behind putting them under pressure early? Um, I think probably like ask any defender, like the scariest thing to do is when forwards are coming at you left and right and you're pressing, pressuring the, the player about to pass the ball to, so pressuring the ball and the receiver is super important. And if you look at the forwards we have, we have so much speed, we have so much confidence, and they just have the mindset to go. So I think the press is just something that is ingrained in our forward, front line, so we're really going to try to use it this year. Luis? Hi, Ali. Uh, you and Summer linked up for the 2-0, <laughs> um, you know, for the second goal. Have you guys been linked <laughs> Like the newcomers to the team? I think the rookies have been doing amazing. They have been really just meshing well into our culture that we're building this year, and we love all of them. Summer is honestly one of my favorites. Um, she, we have been really bonding, but every single one of the rookies, we feel like we're building um, connections with. Like Masai did amazing today. Emily stepping big on the back line. Tori coming in. Um, Chris coming in for her um, um, short spell to come in from her knee. So just every single one of them are doing so good and building confidence as a whole and just making sure they're welcome has been something really important we've been doing. But Summer has been doing amazing, picking off those passes, transition, feeding the balls in. That's what we need. So good, good job by her. Back to Austin. Ali, I guess kind of going off of Summer and, and Messiah, you know, you, you've been in their position before as a rookie. You, you're now 
somewhat of a veteran in this league. You <laughs> kind of understand a little bit more than they do about what they need to be able to, to do in practices and games and such. How much have you been kind of helping them along in terms of just understanding uh, what it's like to be a professional in this league? Um, I think they have come in very mature as it is. So I think, honestly, if you know me as a person, I'm a pretty high-spirited youthful person I would like to think I don't like to think of myself as a veteran I have so much more to grow I think and I feel pretty like new to myself I'm kind of new here to the club still coming in last year and just my journey throughout the um, league just hasn't been what I wanted with my rookie year kind of just being gone with and my second year with my knee so I feel kind of fresh too I feel new brand new with them but like as a culture like we're just a new team this year so they're fitting in well and helping build this identity already and they just got here so I think that They've been kind of carrying me, too. They help me, and I help them, and we help each other, and that, that's what we need as a team right now. Back to Luis. Can you talk a little bit about, if anything, um, the referee talking about VAR and how it was used, for the, <laughs> your perspective on it? Um, I think it's something that we just all need to get used to and just to. We had a whole entire presentation, like a couple-hour presentation, how VAR works, and there is so much respect to the referees, honestly, that goes behind all of it. We just learned so much about it. So I think today was just good for us to like guinea pig it and just try to figure it out and just like give the refs time to trial and error it because it's a complex piece of machinery and just like technology we have in the league and we're very lucky to be one of the first women's leagues to have it. So it's going to take time to adjust for us as players as well and just as um, spectators are going to have to adjust to it. But just we need to give them time to adjust to it and just to figure out how to manage it because it's going to be a game changer this year. Austin? Just wanted to ask about how your wrist is doing. Obviously, you heard it towards the end of last year. <laughs> just wanted to see how how the uh, healing process has been coming along because you've been wearing the uh, um, cast. We're just being super safe with it. There's no reason to get out of it early. The last thing I want to do is nick it again and do something else to it, break it again. I don't want to go through surgery. I'm my PTs and having Corey coming as our head of medical. He's been telling me no, 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 and I understand why because I keep getting hit and falling. So we're just keep it safe. If I look ridiculous with the brace, I look ridiculous, but. As long as I, it makes me get to play and just be myself and go into fouls and fall on the ground as like I need to, then it's fine. It's just it's comical at this point. I just laugh with it, and it's just part of me now, I guess. All right, Seb, uh, back in the hot seat. So just, uh, as always, get us started with your thoughts on the game today. Uh, obviously, pleased with the result. Uh, anytime you score two goals and keep a clean sheet, you're, you're going to be happy. And I think the biggest thing for me was making sure everyone played a part, so... That's why we wanted to make sure that we played every single player. Everyone got uh, minutes on the field um, in in front of the fans. So, you know, we're building something here, and it, it's great to see that they're getting the results at the end of it as well. So, really pleased uh, with how the night went. Hey, Austin, you're right, mate. Yeah. You too. Yeah. Good. So, outside of the result. Um, just kind of from one preseason game to the next, um, comparatively from Gotham, how do you feel that this team uh, improved and kind of took steps forward to where you want them to be? I think what you can see now is that there's a there's a collective, um, there's a there's a team cohesion that want to take pride in everything that they do and they do everything together. Um, that was one of the things early on into preseason that we wanted to really focus on, um, that when a team goes out there, the fans can see that it is a team and they're bought in and they're together. So, um, you know, with two clean sheets, it, it, it's going in the right direction. We're harder to beat. Um, we're more at a, a collective in our, in our defending. Um, building relationships. we still got a lot of young players, a lot of new players as well that have to buy in. Um, and then, you know, it's always nice scoring a couple of goals as well. So we're heading in the right direction. We're, we're not where we want to be at this uh, uh, going into the season, but there's a lot of building blocks um, along the way. So, again, we'll review the, review the game and um, look at areas that we need to improve to be where we want to be come the first game of the season. Louise. Tonight's pressing style, was that more the personality you want to instill in the team as part of the culture or a tactical for Casey type of situation? I think it, I think it covers both, really. Obviously, there's a tactical side. Um, having played Casey a couple of times last year and their formation and their shape that 
they were successful in last season. Uh, we prepared for that, but we, you know, formations change constantly. You know, they play a three back, then they can revert to a four back. So we just had to make sure that the players were prepared for that, their moments. But, you know, you can put players in positions, but you have to have the mindset. That goes a long way. So having the mindset to be focused and know when to press and, and how to press and, and execute at the end of it because that's the most important part, like the, to finish your press off, to then count and go to goal. And, you know, we create some opportunities by doing that. And that was pleasing to see. Nice. Hi, Seb. Um, what are yeah. the some differences you see from last squad, you know, last year's squad to this year's squad um, so far, offensively speaking, especially with, you know, Messiah Bright, you know, shining today? Yeah, I think... <sighs> You know, with Messiah, she brings a, a pace, a power. She's she's a threat um, in multiple aspects of the game. You know, she's she's good at back to goal, which can link players underneath, but also that that fear factor of um, threatening in behind. You know, speed is a is a is a really good attribute to have. Um, being an ex defender, it's not always nice to defend against either. So. You know, with the likes of Messiah and Ali Watt, who also is lightning quick, um, we've got more of a threat in behind. Um, but, you know, we want to we create overall footballers as well, not just you're good at one thing. You know, it's, uh, there's so many different areas of, of football that you have to be good at at this level. So, you know, you have to be good at linking, you have to be good at passing, give and goes, um, all of that. So... That's what we're trying to do here. We're trying to develop players, young players. Um, and you can see we have a lot of young, talented players here. And just, you know, just sharpening every aspect of their game to be an overall better player. Awesome. I guess kind of talking about those young players with Summer Yates, who had the assist to Ali. Ali was just talking about her, how she was, you know, have they been kind of linking up in practice. What have you seen from, from Summer, especially, you know, kind of picking her up late in the draft and, and – a lot of people saying that she was kind of a steal at that pick. Yeah, I mean, you could say that about multiple players um, this year's draft. Um, she's a technical footballer. She likes to get in good areas. She wants to turn and she wants to assist players. And you, what you saw today is what she's done from the very start. We, we just keep um, letting her know that she's doing the right things. Um, and it's not always going to pay off. It's not always going to... Uh, come off every single time but just that positive reinforcement goes a long way for a young player like Summer um, and she was she was brilliant today she was tremendous and she wasn't the only one obviously there was a lot of good performances Emily Madrill another one who you, everyone got to see today we knew that she was class she she showed her class today also um, so really really pleased and like I said it was important that Everyone played their part. Um, everyone got time on the field um, here in front of the fans. <clears throat> we'll go to Sean and then wrap up with Luis. One thing you talked about a lot last year was changing the culture and implementing your culture on the team. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of changes this year. Some of the veterans from last year left. Can you talk about how the new players so far have um, embraced that culture um, so far in this preseason? Yeah. Um, you know, they, they they bought into it. You know, what was really important as well was that we had that trip away to get to know each other. Anytime you're in a, in a team environment, you have to build relationships. You have to get to know people, what their hobbies, what their interests outside of the field, you know. Um, and as long as you build that relationship, whatever you say to them comes from a good place. Um, and that's one thing that we've done from the very start. You can have an honest conversation with a, a teammate as long as you've built the relationship early on. And that's that's where we're going with this culture. The other side of it is that that transfers onto the field, the, the, the work ethic. I know that I've got your back. So when you go, I'm going with you. It may not always come off, but we know that we're trying to do the right thing. And... You know, you what you saw today in the last two games is that there's a there's a team there, there's a team ethos that we all, whether it's good or bad, we're going to stick together. Last one, Luis. Talking about new faces, can you also mention a little bit your plan for integrating Ariana once she arrives, or 
guess she was here because she was on the bench. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she was here today. Obviously, she's been away with Brazil and playing in the She Believes. And, I mean, she's she's a top quality player um, and we'll, we'll find a place for her. Um, I know with Brazil, they've, they've played her in multiple positions. We want to play her in a position that really shows what she's capable of doing. Um, but we're fluid as well. Like you can see there's rotations uh, um, in the front line. Um, so whether she starts left wing, she may end up as a, as a right wing or a 10 or a nine. Um, so that call co that causes confusion to the opponent. Um, so you're not always playing against that, the same player every, every minute of every game, but she, she's quality. You know, you could see from uh, last night a shot that hit the crossbar, you know, another day that goes in and um, Brazil are back into the game. Uh, she likes to dribble, she likes to take on players, she likes to link and again it goes back to building them relationships. Once she's here, she'll she'll build relationships. She obviously already knows Marta as well, but, you know, get to know Messiah, get to know Ali, get to know Summer. You know, we've got a lot of good quality players here. Um, and again, it's just building them relationships within the team.